Hey, what's up everybody? Well, today I'm doing something a little different. I've already played this round and I'm recording my voice right now because I wasn't expecting to make a video today. But after I played this round, I thought I would uh, talk a little bit about some changes and about this round because it was actually a really good round. So this first hole, you know, I, I started off with a bad drive. It was pretty close. I got kind of screwed with the lie right here. But it's still, still just, I don't know, a normal, a normal hole. I actually got it on the green, which was nice. As you see the ball flying right there. But yeah, this round was interesting. And the main reason it was interesting is because, you know, I did this one for my country. And I don't know if everybody else looks at it this way, because I normally don't. But look at this putt. Uh, if I hadn't pulled it, I think it would have had a chance. I think it would have had a chance if I didn't... Uh, just totally choke on that putt anyway so right here right there I was looking at the scoreboard and there was not enough US flags there was only three look at that so there was three US flags three UK flags uh, looks like a Germany's in there a Russia Finland is winning so you know I, I at this point when I was playing I realized I was doing this for my country so for the first time ever I actually like was trying to do good not for just me and I don't even know why I would think like this because I never look at those flags but for some reason you know you know UK and all of Europe kills us in the Ryder Cup each year still bitter over last year that was just depressing President's Cup is probably goes probably about the same way nobody really cares about that one too much though so you know with my country on my mind you know I hit that shot right there the game kind of helped me out a little bit I thought it was going way way off the green but it put it right next to the hole so that put me at one under which I'm not used to being that quick and then here I don't think it shows anything important like I don't know where those birdies and pars come from like that statistic screen it's always screwing up somehow but yeah, I was gonna make a video today, but I kept sucking, so I stopped. I stopped recording my voice. I was just playing for fun. And in this hole, there's water everywhere, and this approach shot right here. I can never hit a good approach shot on this hole. This shot right here screws me up every single time. I don't know if it's because it's close. Um, I definitely aimed too far to the left. I should have looked at the lie and known. That, that was gonna go way left but I just can never hit it close so that's a pretty terrible approach shot right there and I know it I mean I'm still kinda depressed but I'm still I still know I have a par 5 coming up which should be an easy birdie and so if I can bury the next hole you know I'm, I'm looking at a 3 under maybe get lucky get a 4 under round and look at that little glitch right there I hate that so yeah, so far it's been like a normal, kind of a normal round now. And by the way, I guess during this break, I changed my hitting strategy up for simulation mode. So I think I'm going to be getting better over the next week. I should be getting better again. Basically what I used to do, I just stare at the screen, you know, and hit the ball. But now I actually look down at the controller while I hit. It's kind of weird, but I got the rhythm down. I just can't get the angle down. So I was actually looking down. And that line right there, if you look, it's it's pretty straight. It's definitely a lot straighter than most of my hits. It still wasn't that good of a shot, though. And the way I've been putting lately, you know, this was... I was just going to try to get it close. I was just going to try to get it close, you know. So that's my game plan for this long putt, you know. But then it just happens to, you know, just go in. So I was fist pumping like that in real life when I was walking off. I, I stood up and gave myself a little fist pump. Because now I'm on the leaderboard. I knocked off one of those UK people. So I was feeling pretty good. I had this, like, grin on my face. Like, there's no way I can screw this up. But then, you know, I kind of thought, you know, I usually find a way to screw something up. So, so yeah, here we go. The last hole. And I was so scared that I would hit that, that tree. But I didn't. You know, it's lucky. It's lucky. And that line was kind of funky looking. But it was still a pretty good line too. So now I'm, I'm hype. 
I want to do this for my country. And I was so hyped that I forgot to look at the wind. Look at that. If I had just looked at the wind, who who knows what would have happened. But I have this easy chip. And I pull it. So I'm, I'm kind of choked in typical American in an international scale competition would, you know? At, at least in golf, you know, I'm, I'm just speaking about the Ryder Cup. But it was still a, it was still a good round. And I hope to all you UK people out there, I hope y'all y'all don't get mad at this. But you know, it, it's respect. You know, y'all y'all are really good at golf. You know, and thank y'all for watching my videos. I love it. I'm sorry I had to knock one of your own off the off the leaderboard. But if you look right here, he wasn't on the leaderboard to begin with. It was a glitch. So you know, you see me there in fourth. I was ha happy. And I went to go look for the guy who I knocked off the leaderboard and he just wasn't there. You know, I think his name was Leak or Leeds or something. He just wasn't there. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all again later.